everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video I'm gonna be using the new Natasha Denona Lila palette this is the look that I came up with and I really really like it I've been really into purples lately I don't know so this is the perfect palette this retails $468 Canadian you get 15 eyeshadows right here and they are more in that purpley pink fuchsia family I mean hence the name and I really really like them also I've never used any Natasha Denona shadows palettes nothing like that and I think these shadows are incredible they blend beautifully they're so soft and so creamy and I don't know I just love these shadows yes it is an expensive palette $168 for 15 eyeshadows that is expensive but if you want to splurge on an eyeshadow palette then I think this is really really beautiful I love the shades and I love that look that I came up with I wouldn't say this is a palette that you need to have but if you don't mind splurging on an eyeshadow palette then I would definitely recommend Natasha Denona because using her shadows today I just fell in love I just love the formula of these eyeshadows they're so so creamy so smooth I love them and I didn't have a lot of fallout from these glittery shades just a tiny bit but it wasn't anything too bad so yeah I do really really love these shadows also once you open it up it comes with this little um, protector with the names of the shadows on it which is cool I think some people were finding this kind of annoying but I don't really I like that my shadows are protected when it's closed with this um, protector here and yeah you can also always just fold it if it's annoying you you can always fold it and then work with it so it's yeah I like it the packaging is really nice it's kind of like that soft leather I think and you also get a mirror I didn't take off the um, protector here but yeah you also get a nice mirror if you guys want to see how I got this look right here using the new Natasha Denona Lila palette. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Lila, Lila. I'm gonna stick with Lila. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here using the new Natasha Denona Lila palette, then please keep on watching. First, I'm gonna start off with my transition shade, as always. So I am taking Nude Mauve on a Sigma E40 blending brush, and I'm just throwing this into my upper crease. Next, I'm going to take Per Se. It's a little bit of a darker mauve shade, and I'm still using the same Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm going to put this a little bit lower than the first crease shade that we added. Next, I'm taking Amara, 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 and I am putting this on my outer V with a blending brush, and I believe this is the Sigma E25, yeah. So I'm just adding this onto my outer V just to deepen it up a little bit um, because I do want to add some pinks on the outer V. So I'm going to lay that down first. And here I'm just deepening up the crease with um, the shade per se. And then you just want to blend, blend, blend. I couldn't decide what I wanted to use. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with pinks or purples. So I decided to mix them both, okay? <laughs> I'm going to add Magentic, which is that magenta shade, <laughs> on my outer V. So outer one third, I would say. And then I'm going to take Livid and add that to rest of my lid. And this is like a purpley, um, yeah, it's like a purpley gray. And this has a purple undertone to it. But it's very different from the darker purple in the palette. So you will see that after. But yeah, I'm just laying this down on the rest of my lid.
and then I'm just adding a little bit more of that darker crease shade which was per se and then I'm going back into Amara and I'm just deepening up the outer corners a little bit more so that we don't lose the depth on the outer corner then this is the other purple that i was talking about so this is more of that darker purple and this is called amethyst and i'm putting this right on top of the other shade that we used earlier then i'm taking a duo fiber brush just to dust off any fallout i didn't have a lot which was great and today i didn't want to do any winged liner so i'm just slightly lining my upper lash line adding some mascara false lashes you know and yeah then we are going to move on to the lower lash line so for the lower lash line oh no we're not <laughs> we're gonna highlight the brow bone first now we're gonna move on to the lower lash line so i'm going to start off with magentic and then i flip the brush to the blending brush side so that i can just blend out that eyeshadow and then i almost just poke myself in the eye it hurt okay and then i'm taking viola on the same brush and just smudging that on to the lash line as well then on a flat definer brush i'm taking amethyst which is that darker purple and i am smudging that as close to my lower lash line as possible and as you can see it just gives you that really really pretty dark purple and then fading to that pink so i took magentic one more time on a blending brush to really smudge it out and then i'm just finishing it off with some lower lash mascara Okay, so the eyes are done. I'm gonna finish off my face with you guys. I'm just gonna set my contour with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, as always. For blush today, I'm going to take Milani Luminoso because this just goes with any eye look. And because my eye look is really heavy, I want to keep my blush kind of subtle, um, but just add a little bit of peachiness to it. And to highlight today, I'm going to take the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Just gonna highlight a little bit of my nose. And I'm mainly taking Forever Young. This is more of that champagne -y pink. And I'm gonna highlight my cheeks just a tiny bit, not too much. Because I am breaking out. My chin as well. I love highlighting my chin. So for lips, first I'm going to line them with Max Strip Down. And for lips today, I'm going to take Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Love Sick. Okay, so this is a little too pink. I want to make it a little bit more like mauve ish. So I'm going to add Kylie Cosmetics Candy K on top. Alright, so that completes this look. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I will see you all in the next one.